Hi there, my name is Lynn Whipple. I'm in my studio in Winter Park, Florida, and I would love it if you would join me for my new class. It's called Joy of Collage. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna do all my favorite things in collage. So for me, that's like tearing paper and laying down layers and gluing and then more layers and then some paint and maybe some drawing and a little bit of, you know, storytelling and anyway, everything I love about collage I wanna share with you. So might chop her a little bit. So let's just chop her. Let's just cut her up. And I'm telling you, I do not think about this stuff too much. People think often that I cut my things out, but I don't. Everything I lay down and then I cut around it with paint. Do they? Or do they? <laughs> I'll show you that they actually come back to help us with our design. It's more interesting to your eye. And that's what we're playing with now. So a little bit of design. So that says fun and old stamps. Okay, so our next step, now that we've got, we've got a graphic on there, when that dries, I'm gonna go back with my smudgy pencil and I'm gonna really go back over these letters. Just can't help that. Boop. See, isn't that much better now? <laughs> and she's almost finished. I'll probably keep smudging, maybe I'll paint the edges, whatever, but the point is, this is all about you. So, your assignment is to play with these techniques, have as much fun as you possibly can, bring a couple to a finish, see if you can't get them, just tweak them just a little bit more, a little bit more. Sometimes, someone told me this recently, when you're done with the piece, maybe add just three more touches. Boop, 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 I don't know. But I always liked a low bowl of flowers, that's something I always liked, so I'm in service of my next favorite little thing. It's okay, that's all good. Leaf shape is a nice way to play with that. Sometimes I put it right on the shape of the leaf because that's pretty too. And I like that that leaf shape is dark. You might make a big shape in your, in your uh, pretty little pot there. You know, this is like fun. Hi everybody. Ah. I'm so glad you're back. Did I tell you I'm so happy that you're here? I just want you to know that. I'm so happy that you're here. So I have this great pile of goodies that I know you guys have too. And sometimes I have pieces of collage that I already played with, you know, weeks ago. This is what it looks like. You are going to be digging through. You're going to lose stuff. You're going to move this 700 times. You're going to go, I love this, but maybe I like it in here better. You know, what do I love? Maybe this is about your grandmother and you know for sure that you want to put her handkerchief and her photograph and her some piece of jewelry or some fabulous little trinket that she gave you. Now do we like this better? So this part of the process can go on and on and it's, it's so much fun. So problem. I can re -dip it. I have to sort of give it a little test and I'm just going to give her two little buck teeth. Okay, that's funny, right? <laughs> Oh, it cracks me. I love that. See, now she's like totally different than she started. Come back with fresh eyes next time we visit, and we might alter things slightly. I'm going to show you how to raise things up just a little bit. Sometimes a little piece of color tucked under a corner makes all the difference in the world. So I want you to get everything close, and the next time we're together, we'll start to glue it down and do the final tweaks. Thanks. See ya. year of the spark. The way I used to think about it, it was like the direct spark. It's like here I am moving my hands and, I'm, and the more I can just get out of the way, the better. It's, it's almost like giving yourself permission to let your instincts and everything just take over and your brain will just go. It's like that's the spark. It's like the direct connect to creativity. Last year we had a great time with Year of the Fairy Tale. Uh, before that it was Year of the Giraffe. And this year, the subject is actually just art. Um, more art, more creativity. How, not only just making stuff, but how to infuse creativity and art into our daily lives. What does that feel like, you know, to live your fearless, creative life? I mean, how much fun is that? That's what I'm after. How much fun can I have? Emphasis on fun. <laughs> How can I own my own day and fill it with art and fill it with a life that's exciting to me? That's what I want. I think it's the most important thing we can do is encourage each other on that journey, on 
setting your life up in a way that you have those times where you get that spark and you share that spark. So we've designed this class to provide the community and structure to make this happen. Uh, every month you'll get a lesson from Lynn and then a lesson from me. Since we'll start with a creativity exercise to get us into the zone. These are things to get our hands moving and also things to get us thinking with the imaginative side of our brains. From there we'll move into projects uh, where we will be sharing techniques and giving you assignments and challenges that you could take even further. And finally, each month we'll have a discussion about sharing your art with the world and the business of art. Talking about things like uh, applying to shows and getting into galleries and publishing and selling your work online. So it's a whole year of just getting ourselves going. And who doesn't need more creativity in their life? How does that look every month? How does that look every day? This is all about you and your creative voice, your creative spark. The most important thing that we hope students can take out of this class and that we can take out of the class is that we encourage each other to embrace who we are as people first and then as artists second and what and letting the the person part of us reflect in the art part. Um, this is the process of finding your style, finding your voice, or fine-tuning your style and voice. We're going to be exploring line quality and installation, uh, 3D wrapped animals or sculptures. Color, 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 color. You could spend hours just mixing color and talking about color. I really love fabric and fiber. If you have three elements, how are you going to put them together in a way that's interesting? There will be exercises that talk to or speak to design. Along with drawing and painting and experimenting with uh, art supplies and making new combinations, I never read directions, so I'm going to be doing this right in front of you. And hopefully that will give you ideas and permission to do that yourself and come up with just your own way of uh, making art, making your mark. If you have the freedom to try stuff and mess it up, if you have an encouraging, safe place to share, what you do or your mistakes or what your dreams really are this is the place to do that this is the place to grow this is the place that we're gonna sort of break through those barriers and make it so it's safe for you to be the artist that you want to be everything is more beautiful when you're an artist <laughs> including you ha! that was a good one <laughs> everything is more beautiful when you're an artist including you And I have a great exercise for you. This is all about shape making and design. Um, and I went ahead and I made all different little, um, just ways for us to move these shapes around and think about picture making. This for me is a shortcut to good composition. And it's a way to play that game without committing to your piece. So we're not making a final piece here. We're just exercising our eye to look at negative space, positive space is give yourself time to sit down with some paper and just start cutting out shapes. Now, I love an ear, so you can see I cut out tons of little ear shapes, what I call ear shapes. So you're just beginning the game, and you'll start to see what's working and what's not. So sometimes when I don't, when I don't have, you know, I'm not sure what's going to happen, the more pieces and parts I have to choose from, the better. And I find that sort of feeds the next step and the next step and the next step. Like something just happened here where this was cut out and then underneath it was a striped pattern. And so that made me think, oh, I love that. I would rather have my stem be a striped pattern. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how we're going to respond to the music. And there's two parts to this warm up. So at the end of this video, we'll have some music for you to listen to and respond to. Okay, here we go. It's a, a soaking in and a giving back today. So I want to share with you an artist that's so inspiring to me. His name is Andy Goldsworthy. And if you know him, I, I know you'll enjoy him. I think he's Scottish. But uh, one of the things I love about his work is he works entirely with nature. So he'll take forms in nature. This particular book is about snow and this, and, and he'll reshape the snow. He'll set it up painstakingly for hours and make this wonderful new shape out of nature. And then it just completely dissolves back 
it, it could fall apart, it could melt. And he'll photograph it and that is his artwork. So if we happen to fall on this Scottish hill and find this amazing serpentine, you know, ice sculpture, that was just a pure gift with Andy Goldsworthy. So I want us to sort of have that giving uh, feeling in mind. So a couple ways that you'll find that happens is first, I just get so inspired by the pieces and parts. So sort of gather, I find great stones and even if you have flowers in the house, whatever it is in nature and just settle in and sort of, you can do a drawing of it, you can do anything you want. But with the idea that we're gonna alter things in play but a couple things are gonna go back and we're just gonna leave them. So go out into the world, collect fun stuff, alter it, play with it, combine it with new things, get some fresh combinations, appreciate it, think about the form and the shape, the texture of it, and then make a couple things, maybe two things, that you want to anonymously share with the world and put it back into nature and just sort of go about your day. That's it. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> this is all about appreciation. I think that's what we're doing here today. All right. See ya. See ya.